If you find you are contemplating these five triggers as nature, environment, yoga, suffering, and non ananda, non self, again and again you must try to see moment by moment rising in passing away. If you see rising in passing away moment by moment of these five triggers, then we can say you are practicing Udhya, Priya, Jnana, the knowledge of right and fall. After that, you must try to practice Haya Vipassana. If you want to practice Haya and Haya Vipassana inside, then you should emphasize only passing away of this five thinking. You should not pay attention writing. When you are inside bigger mature, then slowly you will not see rising states of this formation in this five degree. You will see only passing away. At that time, you should contemplate these five degrees of these formations as environment, suffering, and no self gain, 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 gain. Past, present, future, internal or external, gross or subtle, inferior or superior, power, near. All five figures you must contemplate them repeatedly seeing the solution only as nature, impermanence, dhoka, suffering, and non -self. So this stage Buddha taught, hmm? maybe this is we call here third stage. Hmm? Let's try to see page 70. In third meditation, third stage. Hmm? Then the Buddha continues this teaching that all else mindfulness that there is a body is simply established in a bhikkhu to the extent necessary for the attainment of the different types of higher and higher insight knowledge and mindfulness. This sentence refers to the knowledge of dissolution as well as the different types of Haya Vipassana inside knowledge for the realization of Nibbana. So you must emphasize only dissolution, bring up. At the time, you will not see even subatomic particles called Kalabas. At the time, you will see only pure ultimate materiality, pure ultimate mentality only. Then you must contemplate then occasionally, not moment by moment. Hmm? You should contemplate then as impermanence, sometimes impermanence, sometimes suffering, sometimes non-self, hmm? sometimes nature, sometimes joker, sometimes anatta. While contemplating in this way, if you want to practice, to, if you want to emphasize only another, no self, it is better. But if it is not okay, you should repeat again and again, and each other and talk again and again. Then when we must not inside become very, very strong other than you should emphasize another, no self. But if you are in, Samatha Yanika Meditator, hmm? Samatha Vedical Person, then you should, at the time, you should emphasize Jhana Dhamma hmm? as a nature, impermanence, dhoka, suffering, and no self. Again, again. When you are inside, becomes the knowledge of equanimity about formation, hmm? about five degrees. Other than you should emphasize another non-self, it is better. Hmm? When contemplated in this way, if you prefer to practice, to pay attention for the Nathamas as Nikta or Dhoka or Nanda, you can emphasize only first Chanatama, to contemplate first Chanatama only. But if you want to, if you prefer, if you prefer to contemplate second Chanatama, 
you can emphasize only second chakra tamba. Or if you prefer to contemplate five chakra tamba, you can contemplate five chakra tamba only for the long time, or for one sentence, or two sentences, etc. Again, if you want to contemplate only four chakra tamba, other than you can contemplate four chakra tamba, both internally and externally. Other than in mind, concentration will become very deep and very peaceful. Other than when contemplating internally, your mind is very peaceful and very quiet. Other than please continue to contemplate internal jhana tamas <coughs> Then when your insect becomes mature, at the end of insect, but impression knowledge will rise. That part in Prussian knowledge will realize Nibbana and point element as Sankata Tattu. This is called Nibbana. When you have sought knowledge, realize Nibbana. And then with the assistance of the Nibbana, your part knowledge will destroy the final stage by stage. When you take it over to Arhat stage, your Arhat part will destroy all the phenomena completely without Kamehameha. So this, this stage Buddha teach inside meditation, fourth stage. Hmm? And he advised independent, not clinging to anything else in the world. That means the fact of clinging of clinging. The meditator has no attachment, no craving, no clinging to any aggregate. What does mean? This is my son, this is my daughter, this is my husband, this is my wife. Such type of clinging, this being a com community. Is it good? Good? <laughs> if you do not see your boy, if you do not see your husband, is it good? Very good. Oh. <laughs> you can escape from the normal request. <laughs> very good, very good. Hmm? So this sentence refers to the four types of past and future knowledge up to the Rahat stage. Hmm? See, 16 types of knowledge. Hmm? This is how a big group of us abides contemplating the body and the body. Hmm? So this is body con contemplation. Hmm? So in this Anabana session of Vipassana, the Buddha teaches the second part and fourth tetrate together. What are second tetrate, what are third tetrate, what are fourth tetrate? So first tetrate I have explained hmm? long breath, short breath, the whole body of breath, and then tranquilizing bodily formation. This is first tetrate. Hmm? Tetrate means Four, 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 four stages, hmm? long breath, one stage, short breath, one stage, then a whole body of breath, one stage, then tranquilizing the bodily formation, this is one stage, so there are four, then again Buddha also one practicing with, this is only pure with samatha, abdu for jhana. Based on this for jhana, if you want to practice with vipassana, then Buddha also teach second tetra, third tetra, and fourth tetra. This, is, this type of teaching is an anapana sati sutta of Michima Dikaya, etc. Not in the Mahasri Prana Sutta. Mahasri Prana Sutta Buddha teach another way, but the meaning is same. The meaning is same, you can understand. Then now we will try to explain. <coughs> about the second, but and fourth tetra separately. Although the Buddha does not teach this tetra separately in the Mahasri Prana Sutta, he teaches them separately in the Anapanasri Sutta, Michimandikaya, Sutta number 
and soldiers number 118, etc. In spite of this, the meaning of these two soldiers are the same. Meaning is the same. Number one, second tetra. Second tetra, feeling, contemplation, Guruna, no Pasana. In Begu, trains us. I shall breathe in experiencing rapture. He trains that I shall breathe out experiencing rapture. PD brings away the assassism, it is secretly. PD brings away the assassism, it is secretly. So this is how that's teaching. I shall breathe in experiencing rapture. PD is rapture. Rapture, he trains that. I shall breathe or experience in Ramcha, he trains God. <coughs> Number two is Sukha Bhadisa Vedi. Sukha Bhadisa Vedi, Asa Sisa Vedi, Sekadi. Sukha Bhadisa Vedi, Pasa Sisa Vedi, Sekadi. He trains God, I shall breathe in experience in Palaisya. He drinks that I shall breathe up experiencing pleasure. Number three. Take that Sankara Pati Samvedi Asa Se Samvedi Sekadi. Take that Sankara Pati Samvedi Asa Se Samvedi Sekadi. He drinks that I shall breathe in experiencing mental formation. He drinks that I shall breathe up experiencing mental formation. Number four is Pasam Bhyan Kita Sankaram Pasa Sejam Mithi Sekadi Pasam Bhyan Kita Sankaram Pasa Sejam Mithi Sekadi He trains thus I shall breathe in tranquilizing the mental formation He trains thus I shall breathe of tranquilizing the mental formation So what is the meaning? We would like to explain one by one So the number one the meaning of the above four sentences. Number one, I shall breathe in experiencing rapture. He trains that. I shall breathe of experiencing rapture. He trains that. What is the meaning? Hmm? Here in the rapture is experienced in two ways. With the object and with no confusion. How is rapture experienced with the object? This is Samadha. So when the meditator enters the first and second jhanas, respectively, rapture is present in both jhanas. If you want to understand directly this, other than you should re-establish Prasanna concentration. At the actual moment of Prasanna full absorption stage, rapture is very clear. Because this is, there are Prasanna pedals, which are obligation, which are sustainment, PD rapture. Sukha, Pleasure, and Ikkakita, One-Pointedness. So these five channel factors are very clear in five channel full absorption stage. So at that time, you should emphasize only PD. When you emphasize PD, you can see PD very clearly. But PD never rise alone. PD always rise with associated mental formations. How many? Study for you should not forget this study for within one mind moment this study for mental formations rise together so these study for mental formations are we have already calculated you must learn by that ever that only you will understand the meaning of focus teaching but if you do not learn by that you cannot understand the meaning of focus teaching so what are study book we have already written on page maybe 
So you can see this is a limpo. Among the limpo, PD is predominant pattern. You should emphasize PD on Ramcha. PD is translated as Ramcha. But Ramcha never arise alone. It always arise with associated mental formations. How many? Talipo. So emphasizing BD Ramcha, you should contemplate them as nature, impermanent, suffering, toka, eh? no self, ananda. Sometimes nature, sometimes toka, sometimes ananda. And then dying. When entering into Fakjana, at the actual full absorption state, you can feel BD. Why? This pretty bhaga, the object is pretty anabana pretty bhaga, the major counterpart sign. Translucent and brilliant and bright nimeta. When you see this nimeta, you feel a lot enjoying or a lot pleasure. Hmm? Uh, rapture. If you see one prank, for example, a good prank. When you see a good prank on the way, how will you feel? You will begin happy. Your prank also will begin happy. In the same way, if you see this object, you feel a lot of happiness as well as a lot of rapture. Other than this rapture also very clear, that pleasure also very clear. But in this case, Buddha each to emphasize one by one. Occasionally, you can emphasize pleasure. Occasionally, you can emphasize rapture. So this is rapture. Hmm? While entering into jhana, at the actual full absorption stage, rapture also very clear because of the object. Object is anabana counterparty. If you see this anabana counterparty, you feel a lot rapture. You feel a lot of happiness, a lot of pleasure. Hmm? So in the same way, when he enters into the first and second Anabana Janas one by one, taking the Anabana counterpart sign, Pribhaga Nibeta as object, he experiences a lot of happiness, sukha and joy, pity, or a lot of pleasure, sukha and rapture. Owing to the obtaining of the jhana because of the experience of the object, anabana, counterpart sign, anabana, pribhaga, nimeja. Because of this, at the actual absorption moment, pleasure and rapture are also very clear, although in this tetrad, the Buddha teaches pleasure and rapture separately for the purpose of emphasizing one of, one of them. In each absorption time of jhana, Please note, in the first and second jhana, rapture PD is a predominant pattern. In the first, second and third jhana, pleasure sukha is a predominant pattern. Although they, are, they arise together with associated jhana tomas in each jhana my moment. Associated jhana tomas are how many? And four. They are called associated. Within one my moment, they always rise together, they never separate to each other. So, while contemplating these jhana tamas, if you contemplate only one, it is not enough. Do you understand? Not only one is nature, all are nature. All are dukkha, all are nature. So you must contemplate all, but you must emphasize only one, predominant one. Really? In other words, it is leader. Hmm? So leader only. Then, please know in the first and second jhana, Ravcha PD is a very dominant factor. In the first, second and third jhana, pleasure, sukha is a very dominant factor. Although they rise together with associated jhana tamas in each jhana my moment. Among those jhana tamas, the Buddha teaches meditators sometimes to emphasize pleasure, sukha, and sometimes to emphasize rapture, piti, while practicing samatha or while practicing vipassana. The meaning should be similarly understood in the following sentences. 
be this is a weak person. Eh? How with no confusion? After entering a boat, let's imagine from one of these two jadas, accompanied by Rapcha, he comprehends with insight that Rapcha is impermanent nature. Suffering to God is no self another. When contemplating this jhana was including rapture in this way, the vipassana inside also is associated with rapture because of the object, which is the jhana dhamma. It also is associated with rapture. So the object is the default matter of formation, jhana dhamma. Among the default jhana dhamma, there is also rapture. We must not inside contemplate this jhana dhammas again as a nature or dhoka or nata. While contemplating, he saw this PD, rapture. When he saw this rapture, inside knowledge also associated with rapture. Do you understand? Why? If you see a good friendly person on the way, if he smiles, you will be crying. <laughs> You will also smile. Is it true? So, this is your friend is object. You are you is subject. So, if your friend has smiling face, your face also will be a smile in the same way only. So the object is BD. BD is B domain in Panda. If you see this BD, the same knowledge also associated with BD. Same. Thirty-four, same thirty-four. Inside knowledge also same thirty-four mental formations. The object jhana dhamma also thirty-four mental formations. So <coughs> then, when contemplating these jhana dhammas, including rapture, in this way, the vipassana insight also is associated with rapture because the object, which is the jhana dhamma, is associated with rapture. Because the object of vipassana insight is associated with rapture, the vipassana insight, which is the subject, is also associated with rapture when contemplating those jhana as impermanent, suffering, and no self. There are 34 mental factors in the first jhana and 32 mental factors in the second jhana, rapture being one of them. We must not insight which contemplates this jhana dhammas. It also is associated with the default mental factors, in which rapture is one of them. While practicing samadha jhana, at the actual full absorption mind moment, the meditator experiences rapture because he sees the object. The Anabana Kondaba Sai Pribhagan made up very clearly and when he sees the Anabana Kondaba Sai, he experiences a lot of rapture. While practicing Vipassana, <coughs> the meditator experiences rapture because the object of insight, that means the jhana dhammas, are associated with rapture. So here, object is, while practicing Samadha, the object is what? Anabana counterpart. When bright is a vipassana, the object is what? Jhana Dhamma. So, not saying object. Hmm? The object of jhana is anabana counterpart. Right? The object of vipassana is the anabana jhana Dhamma. Hmm? So the object is not saying. When the meditator experiences rapture, he also experiences pleasure, sukha. Because rapture piti is always associated with pleasure, sukha. When pride is a samadha or vipassana, the meditator is still breathing. At the dying, he may contemplate this jhana as nature, dhoka, and nada, but at the dying, he is breathing. Without breathing, he cannot contemplate. <laughs> so now he is not entering into fourth jhana. He is only entering into so when he, he or she emerge from jhana, she or he contemplates this jhana as nature, dhoka, and nanda. As I said also, she is, he is breathing. <coughs> Therefore, it is said that when practicing samadha or vipassana, 
He meditated and experiences pleasure, sukha, when breathing in or when breathing out. Although he does not pay attention to the breath of death, he experiences rapture, please sorry. What is the reason? When Brandy says matter, he meditates the best attention to the Anabana Nimita only. He does not pay attention to the breath of death. In the same way, when Brian says we person, according to this statue, he meditates the best attention only to the jhana dramas as impermanent and nature, suffering, yoga, or no self nanda. He does not pay attention to the breath of death. For that reason, it is said that when practicing is a matter of vipassana, he meditates the trains thus, I shall breathe in experiencing rapture. He trains thus, I shall breathe of experiencing rapture. Okay? So this is the, the way of practicing how to breathe. If you can breathe according to Buddha's instruction, you can attain jhana. You give bigger raha. Is it good? Breathing system is very important. Huh? You must focus this breath with diff from different angles. If you try to breathe according to Buddha's teaching, that breathing system can produce to bigger raha. Is it good? Good? Oh, very good. You should try to breathe according to Buddha's instruction. instruction. Hmm? Eh? For the meaning should be similarly understood in the following sentences. This statement is one of one type of contemplation of feeling within a new partner. Here, PD always associate with Sukha. Sukha is one type of Virna. There are five types of Virna, Sukha, Virna, Happiness, Feeling, or Pleasure. Dukkha, Virna, Suffering, Feeling, hmm? the Feeling of Suffering. Somna, the Happy Feeling, Domna, the Unhappy Feeling. Ubaka, Equinimous Feeling. So there are five types of Feeling. Among five types, this is Sukha, Happy Feeling, or Pleasure. So this, because of this, the, the Buddha teaches in this tetra, the Virna Nupatna, contemplation of feeling. Hmm? How you should practice Virna Nupatna, hmm? you may understand. Then, number two, he trains thus and shall breathe and experience a pleasure. He trains thus and shall breathe of experience pleasure. Sukha Pati Samwedi. Asa Sita Medi Sikati Sukha Bri Samwedi Pasa Sita Medi Sikati Same meaning. When Brian Desi Anabana Samatha Meditation, the meditator enters sequentially into each of the first three jhanas, one by one. First jhana, he enters into first jhana. Imagine from first jhana, he goes to second jhana. He enter into second jhana. Imagine from second jhana, he enter into third jhana, etc. And then day, he experiences jhana pleasure, sukha, because he feels a lot of pleasure, sukha, seeing the object of jhana, the anabana kongrapasana, the anabana padipaga nimaita. When Brian is in Vipassana, he could embrace Pajana Dhammas, Sagin Jana Dhammas, and Tanjana Dhammas, respectively emphasizing pleasure, sukha, as impermanent, suffering, or not self. Seeing their dissolution, when contemplating them as impermanent, impermanent, suffering, or not self, he experiences pleasure because the object of insight, that means the jhana dramas are associated with pleasure. At the actual moment of insight, when practicing vipassana, the meditator experiences pleasure because of the object, pleasure which is one of the jhana dramas. When he contemplates this, those jhana dramas together with pleasure as impermanent, suffering or no-self, Seeing the dissolution of them, 
That inside knowledge is also associated with pressure. For that reason, it is said that when practicing the matter of vipassana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in, experiencing pressure. He trains that I shall breathe out, experiencing pressure. Sukha Pritha Vedi. This is one type of breathing system. Everybody breathes. Without breathing, you will die. So, how if you can breathe according to Buddha's instruction, you will feel a lot of happiness. Hmm? If you can not be Raha in this very life, if you can maintain this jhana concentration up to that moment, you can reborn in Brahmawa. In Brahmawa, there is no woman, there is no man. Is it good? There is no son, there is no daughter. It is not necessary to work, to support man or woman, to support son and daughter. Is it good? Very good. They enjoy jhana happiness only. Occasionally, for noble one, they may practice vipassana. Is it good? They never eat food. They never urinate. They never go to toilet. Oh, is it good? Very good. Oh. If you become so the bana, hmm? the cream winner in this very life, then although you may try hard to become a rat, but you cannot become a for example, hmm? then if you can maintain this channel up to this moment, you can revo in Brahma if you reborn in Brahmava as a Sotampana, three winner, you will never come down to the human world again. You will never come down to the Deva world also. You can permanently stay, this is permanency. Hmm? You can stay there permanently up to a heart state. Is it good? Very good. Ah. You cannot be reborn in a hopeful state. You already escaped from hopeful state. Not from hopeful state. Not only from hopeful state. You can escape already from sensual world. Very good. Hmm? So because of this reason, if you can practice according to Buddha's teaching, if you can breathe according to Buddha's instruction, then you can become Sodhapana, you can become Brahma, you can become Rahat. Hmm? We practice in Vipassana, he contemplates five janatomas, second janatomas, and third janatomas, respectively, in processing pleasure, sukha, as in family, suffering or non self seeing their dissolution. When contemplating the as in family, suffering or non self he experiences pleasure because the object of insight. That is, the janatomas are associated with pleasure. At the actual moment of insight, when practice in Vipassana, the meditator experiences pleasure because of the object pleasure, which is one of the janatomas. When he contemplates those janatomas together with pleasure as impermanent suffering or non self, seeing the dissolution of this, that inside knowledge is also associated with pleasure. For that reason, it is said that when practicing the matter or vipassana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in experiencing pleasure. He trains that I shall breathe out experiencing pleasure. Sukha Pri Samedi. Then number three. Jita Sankara Pri Samedi Asa Sita Midi Sikhaji. Jita Sankara Pri Samedi Asa Sita Midi Sikhaji. He trains that I shall breathe in experiencing Mental formation, he trains that I shall breathe of experiencing mental formation. Here, mental formation means feeling, vurna, and perception, senya. Both are present in every jhana. You can see among the people, hmm? there is also vurna, there is also vurna feeling, there is also senya perception. So they are always in. In every jhana. So, 
Yang mental formation by feeling, will not in perception, senya. Will not get senya, get take that, senkara, in this way, both that teach and one subject. Hmm? So because of this, they will, here in this case, we must emphasize will not in senya. Both are present in every genre. If the meditator enters into the first, second, third, and fourth, and abundant genre, he experiences feeling urna. Because when he sees the Anabana counterparty, he feels a lot of pleasure when entering into the first, second, and third jhana. In the feeling of equanimity when entering into the fourth jhana. Therefore, when meditator enters into the Anabana jhanas one by one, it is said that he experiences mental formations one breathing in or one breathing out. One breathing in we pass that the meditator contemplates each of those chanatamas, emphasizing feeling. See the dissolution of those chanatamas as impermanence, suffering, or non-self. Then the mental formations, the chanatamas, including Virna, will become clear to the mind because they are the object of vipassana insight. When practicing vipassana, the vipassana insight is associated with pleasure when contemplating the first, second, and third jhana tamas, and with the feeling of equanimity when contemplating the fourth jhana tamas. Perception in this case follows feeling. Perception is the follower of feeling. Hmm? For that reason, it is said that when practicing samadha or vipassana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in experiencing mental formation. He trains that I shall breathe out experiencing mental formation. Chaita Sankara Bhati Samvedi Asa Sita Medi Sekhati Chaita Sankara Bhati Samvedi Asa Sita Medi Sekhati. Then number four is, he trains that I shall breathe in tranquilizing the mental formation. He trains that I shall breathe out tranquilizing the mental formation. Take that Sankara Pradit Samwiti. No, no, no. First of all, take that Sankara. Pasavya Chita Sankara Asa Sita Medi Sikhati Pasavya Chita Sankara Asa Sita Medi Sikhati Here also mental information means Healing will not be perception Sanya Both are present in every jhana If the meditator enters into the first circuit or third jhana Third Anabana jhana He experiences the feeling of pleasure Sukha when entering into the fourth Anapana Jhana, he experiences the feeling of equanimity, Upakavirna. In each successive Jhana, feeling, Virna, becomes more and more subtle and refined. Gross feeling spreads away in each higher Jhana. Perception in this case also follows feeling. Therefore, when the meditator enters into the Anapana Jhana one by one, it is said that he is tranquilizing mental formation while breathing in or while breathing out. Again, when the meditator contemplates each of those janatamas, emphasizing feeling will not. Seeing the dissolution of those janatamas as impermanence, suffering, or non-self, his mental formations, that means inside knowledge. Hmm? will be considered and refined with each higher and higher insight knowledge. And then the concentration is very deep. In higher and higher we must not insight. Concentration also becomes deeper and deeper. Because of this deep concentration, insight knowledge also very, very subtle, very refined. In the same way, when practicing we must not also when practicing samatha also, feeling becomes refined. Be feeling becomes subtle and subtle. Subtle and subtle. In each higher and higher channel. What is the reason? Because of concentration. Hmm? 
Concentration becomes deeper and deeper in each higher and higher channel. Because of this reason, all mental formations not only within a feeling, all mental formations begin very, very fine and very refined. Hmm? Very subtle. And then there is one contemplative vipassana also saying. Because of this reason, some meditators, if they can maintain their deep concentration, usually they fall asleep. Fall into Bhoyanga. This is we call fall asleep temporarily. Then they come out from Bhoyanga and then they contemplate again. Why? Concentration is not yet so enough to maintain their we persona inside, successfully to practice for a long time. In the same way, when practice in jhana also, they frequently fall into Bhoyanga, fall to sleep. This is a great problem now it is. Many people think this is Nibbana. <laughs> this is problem. No Nibbana. Nibbana is when they practice with Vipassana systematically, and then they only they can realize Nibbana. So they just practicing Samatha, they cannot attain Nibbana. Without understanding ultimate materiality, without understanding ultimate mentality, if they say hmm, they realize Nibbana, such that for realization is not true. Because if a meditator understands four noble truths systematically, and that the only they can realize Nibbana. Without understanding the noble truth of suffering, that is fighting and being Without understanding the noble truth of the origin of suffering, this is keeping the origination. They cannot realize Nibbana. So, when the meditator contemplates each of those chanakamas, emphasizing feeling, we are not seeing the dissolution of those chanakamas as impermanence, suffering, or no self. This mental information, that inside knowledge, will become subtle, subtle and refined. With each, each higher and higher inside knowledge. For that reason, it is said that we practice in Samadha or Vipassana. The meditator trains that I shall break in tranquilizing mental formation. He trains that I shall break out tranquilizing mental formation. Pasambayan Chita Sankara, Asasita Medi Sekati. Pasambayan Chita Sankara, Pasasita Medi Sekati. This texture is one type of contemplation of feeling within a new person. So, number one, tetra, is kaya nubhasana. Long breath, short breath, whole body of breath, and tranquilizing the bodily formation. This is kaya nubhasana, bodily contemplation. Now this tetra is virna nubhasana, feeling contemplation, contemplation of feeling. Hmm? Now mind contemplation, kaya nubhasana, such tetra. Hmm? Chita Bhadi Samvedi Asa Sita Medi Sekati Chita Bhadi Samvedi Asa Sita Medi Sekati I shall break in experiencing the mind He trains that I shall break of experiencing the mind If Bhikkhu trains that I shall break in experiencing the mind He trains that I shall break of experiencing the mind Chita Bhadi Samvedi Number two, he trains thus angel breathe in gladdening the mind. He trains thus angel breathe out gladdening the mind. A big promoter and chaita. Hmm? Number three, samadhan chaita. Samadhan chaita, asa se samiti sekati. Samadhan chaita, asa se samiti sekati. He trains thus angel breathe in. Concentrating the mind, he trains that I shall breathe out concentrating the mind. Number four, we more can take that as a sesamidi sekati, we more can take that as a sesamidi sekati. He trains that I shall breathe and liberate the mind. 
The dream does enjoy breath of liberty the mind. Many of the above four sentences, I shall breathe and experience the mind. He says that I shall breathe and experience the mind. He says that I shall breathe and experience the mind. Take up this one. No? Here the mind means four types of anapana jhana consciousness. You can see in five jhana there are 34 mental formations. Among 34, one is consciousness. Again is again jana, we take we share Abrigation is a statement of sin. So there are 32. Among 32, consciousness is also one pattern. In that jana, no we take no we share as well as no PD rapture. So three of sin, so there are 31. In both jana, in the same way, there are 31, but sukha upset, but upaka, equini, the feeling of equanimity present. So there are 31. Among 31, consciousness is wanted. So in every jhana, there is consciousness. So when re establishing jhana tamas, at the day, the meditator feels not only fact, Jana Pratas or three Jana Pratas or two Jana Pratas. He also can see this conscious, Jana consciousness because they are 34. So if he has enough concentration and then if he pay attention to this 34, he can see this 34 or 32 or 31, 31. He can see clearly. Mount Dali one in this chapter Buddha teaches to emphasize consciousness. Okay? So, here the mind means four types of anapana jhana consciousness. When a meditator enters into each jhana, he experiences jhana consciousness clearly. It is then said that he experiences the mind when breathing in or breathing out. When the meditator practices vipassana, he contemplates Jana Dhammas as impermanence, suffering or non-self, seeing their dissolution and emphasizing the mind. At the actual time of insight, he experiences the mind very clearly as impermanence, suffering or non-self. For that reason, it is said that when practicing the matter of vipassana, the meditator says that I shall breathe and experience the mind. He says that I shall breathe or experience the mind. But when contemplating the consciousness as a nature, consciousness as a nature, dukkha and nanda, he must emphasize consciousness, jhana consciousness. But jhana consciousness never arises alone. It always rises with associated mental formations. So, emphasizing jhana consciousness, the meditator must contemplate all jhana tamas. Hmm? Emphasizing jhana consciousness, he must contemplate all jhana tamas as a nature, dukkha, and another. Then, second, number second sentence. Hmm? He Abhi Bhamodhyan Chaita Asa Sikha Meji Sikhati Abhi Bhamodhyan Chaita Asa Sikha Meji Sikhati He trains thus and shall breathe in gratinate the mind. He trains thus and shall breathe of gratinate the mind. Here and there is gratinate the mind in two ways, through concentration and through insight. How does a meditator attain gratinate the mind through concentration? He attains the first and second jhanas sequentially one by one, in which pleasure sukha is present. At the time when he actually has entered those jhanas, he inspires the mind with jhana mind, he mind with jhana mind, 
with gladness instills gladness into its premise of the pleasure sukha associated with jhana. Then jhana sukha is for many meditators they can feel very well. This jhana consciousness can produce jhana mind bone clapper, subatomic particles. They are spreading throughout the body. Among if a meditator analyzes those clubbers, in each clubber there are eight types of material, such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive acid. Among these eight, there are t- t- three attainable objects. What are three? Earth element, fire element, and wind element. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, heat and cold, supporting and pushing. They are all tangible objects. These tangible objects impinge on the body dough. Body dough means body translucent element. Body translucent element means if you touch, you can feel touching sensation. Hmm? If you feel touch throughout the body, you can feel touching sensation. So the body translucent element is throughout the body. When the jhana mind produces mind bone clubbers, among those mind bone clubbers, there are three types of tangible objects. This image on that body too, especially at the time. Softness, smoothness, lightness is very clear, very predominant. When they impinge on the body door very gently, the meditator feel a lot of happiness, a lot of rapture throughout the body and quite entering into jhana. But evidently they focus only on abundant counterparts. They do not pay attention to this bodily pleasure or rapture. But when they emerge from jhana and the dying, if they want to contemplate jhana dhammas as nature to another, other than they be addition this jhana dhammas, other than they feel this jhana, this feeling, especially pleasure, spread throughout the body. They can easily see. Hmm? But this is not the object because, because this is the body feeling. But my meaning is at the dying, not only mental feeling, but also bodily feeling also at the time right? when they emerge from jhana. Jhana happiness is very good, they understand at the time. Because of this reason, Buddha here teaches. Hmm? How does a meditator attain gladdening the mind through concentration? He attains the first and second jhana sequentially one by one, in which pleasure sukha is present. At the time when he actually has entered those jhanas, he inspires the mind, jhana mind, hmm? with gladness and instills gladness into its premise of the pleasure sukha associated with the jhana. How does the meditator attain gladness in the mind through insights? After entering and in, in emerging from one of the two jhanas accompanied by pleasure, the first jhana, second jhana. The comprehends the jhana, pleasure, sukha, with insight. Simultaneously seeing the dissolution of that pleasure, sukha, together with the associated jhana dhammas. And thus, at the actual time of insight, he inspires the mind, inside mind, with gladness and instills gladness into it. By means of the pleasure sukha associated with insight. When bright dancing we must not, he focus only jhana dhammas. Among jhana dhammas there is also pleasure, predominant pleasure. When he is contemplating this pleasure together with associated metal formations, jhana dhammas, and then we must not insight also associated with pleasure. This pleasure is very predominant for the one practicing vipassana. This happiness, this is called vipassana happiness. 
When entering into jhana, this is happiness is jhana happiness. When practicing this jhana dhammas as an ichatyoka nata, is knowledge also associated with happiness. That happiness or that pleasure is vipassana happiness, vipassana pleasure. So when entering or into jhana also there is, he feels pleasure. When practicing vipassana also he feels pleasure. Hmm? That type of pleasure is called jhana happiness and vipassana happiness. Jhana happiness is better than sexual happiness. Vipassana happiness is better than jhana happiness. Do you want to feel? <laughs> huh? Why you are laughing? Oh, very good. This is Buddha's teaching. Eh? Okay. Hmm? Here the object of insight means jhana pleasure sukha. Therefore the subject that means the insight which contemplates and sees this jhana pleasure sukha is also associated with pleasure sukha. In this case the subject means the insight knowledge. Hmm? For that reason it is said that when practicing samatha or vipassana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in gladdening the mind. He trains that I shall breathe out gladdening the mind. So if you can try to begin gladdening mind, hmm? is it good or bad? Very good. Every time you can happy, you can enjoy happiness, you can enjoy pleasure. One practicing tomato or one practicing vipassana. Hmm? Very good. Hmm? Then number three, Samadha Hanchita. Samadha Hanchita Asa Sita Miti Sikati. Samadha Hanchita Asa Sita Miti Sikati. He trains thus I shall breathe in concentrating the mind. He trains thus I shall breathe or concentrating the mind. Here also the meditator trains concentrating the mind in two ways through concentration samatha and through insight vipassana. When practicing samatha, the meditator evenly places the mind, putting it evenly on its meditation object, the anapana counterpart sign. By means of the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana. Ordinarily, when Having entered those jhanas one by one and emerged from them, he couldn't comprehend with inside the jhana consciousness associated with jhana dhamma. Simultaneously, seeing the dissolution of that jhana consciousness together with associated jhana dhamma, he couldn't comprehend as nature to connect those jhana consciousness, that jhana consciousness together with associated jhana dhamma. Then at the actual time of insight, momentary unification of the mind, that is momentary concentration, kriga samadhi, rises through the penetration of the characteristics of impermanence, suffering, and non-self. At that point, the meditator's insight mind is thoroughly concentrated on the characteristics of impermanence, or suffering or no self. Here hmm, you may understand Kanika Samadhi, momentary concentration. We must know it's necessary Kanika Samadhi. What is Kanika Samadhi? You will not understand. Meditate into, into, into Jana. When he emerged from jhana, he comprehends or he contemplates the jhana dhammas as impermanent, suffering, and non-self. While contemplating this jhana dhammas, his we personal insight also associated with very deep concentration. That deep concentration is on the nature of a nature characteristic or Dukkha characteristic or another characteristic. So, uh, such type of concentration is called, what called? Kanika Samadhi, momentary Samadhi. 
Now it is many meditators. They go to meditation center. They practice Vipassana. How they practice? With Kanika Samadhi, they do. <laughs> is it possible? They do not understand ultimate materiality. They do not understand ultimate mentality. They never practice to understand dependent origination by direct knowledge. Then they practice Vipassana. Is there any Kanika Samadhi? No, here they practice jhana of the fourth jhana. This is concentration, jhana concentration. Then again, these jhana dhammas, meditators contemplate these jhana dhammas as nature, dhokha, and nanda. While contemplating in this way, their inside knowledge also associates with deep concentration, higher concentration. That concentration is called Krika Samadhi. Is it same? Kniga Samadhi? For some meditators experience. Hmm? They never understand, they never practice jhana. They never practice to understand ultimate meditality according to Buddha's teaching. They never practice to understand ultimate mentality according to Buddha's teaching. Why? They criticize a lot. Buddha teaches this Nama Rupa in Taurisa, Deva Wa, only not a human Wa. <laughs> this is their reason. Because of this, this reason, they don't want to, they don't want to break this for to understand this mentality and materiality by their own direct knowledge. Another reason is, we both know is, Main important practice in Buddha's dispensation. Samatha is outside Buddha's dispensation. You should not practice Samatha, you must practice only Vipassana. This is their instruction. Because of this reason, they have no jhana concentration. They do not understand jhana tamas. They cannot contemplate these jhana tamas as nature, toka, and nata. So here, Kniga Samadhi means when contemplating these jhana dhammas as nature, dukkha, and nata, as that the inside knowledge would associate with very deep concentration, such type of concentration only is called Kniga Samadhi. Do you understand what this Kniga Samadhi? But similarly, when you are contemplating other mentality and materiality as nature to find that the other day also you are with but not inside will associate very deep with very deep concentration that deep concentration also can call kniga samadhi momentary samadhi but nowadays many meditators they do not understand argument materiality they do not understand argument mentality by their own direct knowledge because mentality and materiality never arise alone. Materiality always arises as a club of subatomic particles. If you can analyze those clubs as that they only, you can understand ultimate materiality. Again, ultimate mentality also never arises alone. They always arise as a group. In fact, they know how many within one main moment, 34. You understand? So because of the reason, they do not see this materiality, they do not see this materiality. If they bring this vipassana, that vipassana is not real vipassana, only that superficial only. Real vipassana is, you must understand ultimate materiality by your own direct knowledge, not here say. You must understand ultimate mentality by your own direct knowledge. Then you must understand dependent origination by your own direct knowledge. After that only you can practice vipassana. You can contemplate this ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality and their causes as nature, dukkha and nanda. Such type of contemplation is called vipassana only. Without understanding ultimate materiality, without understanding ultimate mentality, and without practicing dependent origination to understand by your own direct knowledge, if you break this vipassana, this is only just supervision, not real vipassana. 
no ria kani ka samadhi bhoma kri samadhi so please take care hmm? the another is we for that reason it is said that we practice this samadha or we vipassana the meditation trains that i shall breathe in contemplating the mind he trains that i shall breathe or contemplating the mind and concentrating the mind number four He thinks that I shall breathe in, liberating the mind. He thinks that I shall breathe or liberating the mind. We must hear Satan. He imagines the breath in and breathe or deliberating and liberating the mind from the hindrances, by means of the first channel. From applying and sustained thought, Ujjaga and Vichara, by means of the second channel. From Rapcha Pidi, by means of the Kachana. From Pleasure Sukha, and Pain Toka, by means of the Fourth Chana. This is Sumatra Meditation. So, if you re-establish your Fourth Chana concentration at the actual full absorption stage, you always liberated from five hindrances. Temporary, temporary. <laughs> one entering, one practicing, or one entering into jhana at the actual full resolution stage only. Again, if you enter into second jhana, at the day, you will be liberated from vichaka in vichara. There is no vichaka in vichara. Again, if you enter into third jhana, then you will be liberated again from piti, rapcha because there is no rapture. If you again enter into fourth jhana, then you will liberate that from sukha, as well as dhukha. But in this case, in third jhana, there is no dhukha. In first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, there is no dhukha. Why? He commentary says dhukha. Because according to Buddha's teaching, they are saying, But for practicing this, this four types of jhana at the excess concentration phase, dhoka is disappeared. Only excess concentration phase, there is sukha only, sukha feeling, hmm? happiness, feeling of pleasure. But in this case, they want to praise fourth jhana. Fourth jhana is very good. It is free from sukha and dhoka. And then they will they want to practice. Oh, I will practice, I will practice. Oh. Is it true? <laughs> they will practice. Huh? Because when entering into Fourth Channel, they always liberated. They are may always liberated from Sukha and Dukha. Because of this reason, here it is present. Huh? They are the angel type of insect. We practice in Vipassana, the meditator having entered an image from each of those channels, comprehends with inside the consciousness associated with each of those channels. Simultaneously seeing they are the solution of it. How they comprehend as nature, dhoka, and another. Then at the actual time of insight, he delivers and liberates the mind from the perception of permanence. By means of the contemplation of impermanence, they see this jhana mind together with associated mental formations as nature. If they clearly see the nature, nature, as a day, this contemplation, because of this, by means of this contemplation of impermanence, their mind liberates from the perception of permanence. Other than they will not perceive this is permanent. Hmm? They free from perception of permanence. In the same way, from the perception of pleasure by means of the contemplation of suffering. From the perception of self by means of the contemplation of non-self. From the delight by means of the contemplation of this enchantment. From greed by means of the contemplation of fading away. From rousing or craving by means of the contemplation of cessation. 
from grasping by means of the contemplation of relinquishment. In this case, this enchantment, fading away, sensation, and relinquishment, this is the result of the nature contemplation, dukkha contemplation, and nata contemplation only. They must contemplate as nature, dukkha, nata, those chanatamas or those chanamayas. As a dying, because of this reason, this enchantment will also appear, fading away, cessation, and relinquishment will appear successfully. Hmm? This is instant meditation. For that reason, it is said that when practicing samatha or vipassana, the meditator thinks that I shall breathe in liberating the mind. He thinks that I shall breathe out liberating the mind. We more can check it. This definitely is one type of contemplation of consciousness, Chitta Dupasana. The Buddha teaches both Samatha and Vipassana in the second and third place together. So here Buddha teach Samatha as well as Vipassana. Hmm? Then another one, Tamanduba, Tamak contemplation, both tetra. In this book that the Buddha teaches only pure insight, pure vipassana, not so much. Hmm? If we could raise that, anicca nubhasi, asa sita miti sikhati, anicca nubhasi, asa sita miti sikhati. If we could raise that, I shall breathe in contemplating impermanence. He trains that, I shall breathe out contemplating impermanence. Number two. We raga nubhati asa seta miti sekati. We raga nubhati asa seta miti sekati. He trains that I shall breathe in contemplating fading away. He trains that I shall breathe out contemplating fading away. Number three. Niro dan nubhati asa seta miti sekati. Niro dan nubhati asa seta miti sekati. He trains thus I shall breathe in contemplating cessation. He trains thus I shall breathe out contemplating cessation, Nino Dandu Pasi. The Pati Nature Gandu Pasi, Asa Tita Medi Sekhati, Pati Nature Gandu Pasi, Asa Tita Medi Sekhati. He trains thus I shall breathe in contemplating relinquishment. He trains that I shall breathe out contemplating relinquishment. So the meaning of the above four sentences. Hmm? Number one, I shall breathe in contemplating impermanence. He trains that I shall breathe out contemplating impermanence. What is impermanence? Nature. Impermanence, nature is the five grievous. Anichandi, Penchakanda. This is the explanation of Vichodi Maga. You can see, Vichodi Maga, there are two volumes. Number one, hmm? first volume, page number two, eight, one. As soon as these five aggregates arise, they pass away. Yes, these five aggregates are called impermanence and nature. What are five aggregates? The green aggregate of materiality, the green aggregate of feeling, the green aggregate of perception, the green aggregate of formation, and the green aggregate of consciousness. They are, in other words, mentality and materiality. Hmm? The Buddha teaches to contemplate Janadamas as impermanent suffering or no self in the second and third tetra. Therefore, in this fourth tetra, the fight. The three gates are six via Tomas only. Kama Vachra Tomas. For the Anabana Meditator, taking each of 28 types of materiality as of that, the Meditator must then descend six types of cognitive processes. As well as the different types of materiality as the six tools. For example, in the Aindu, there are six types of Kalapa such as Aintake Kalapa, Body Take Kalapa, Sat Take Kalapa, Mind Bone, Nutritive Essence or the Kalapa, Temperature Bone, Nutritive Essence or the Kalapa, and Nutrient Bone, Nutritive Essence or the Kalapa. 
all together they are of the three four types of materiality. It should be similarly understood with the other factors. So in our eye, there is eye decade club. Decade means hmm? if you analyze that club, there are three types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, water, flavor, nutritive acid, light quality, and I translucent element. What you get that thing? But not only this, uh, if you touch your eye, can you feel touching sensation? Do you feel? So there is also body taking trauma. Because Body consciousness arises depending on body technical, body translucent element only. Then, if you see one person, can you distinguish this is man or this is woman? You can clearly understand when you see a person. Why? There is sex technical throughout the body. Everywhere there is sex, sex technical according to Buddha's teaching. That sex decade club distinguish this is man, this is woman. So in your eye also there are sex decade clubs. Again, if you move your eye, can you move? move. <laughs> Why? There is mind bone decade uh, or that club. Mind bone or that club. Hmm? Nutritive person or that club. In the same way, in each club there is fire element. That fire element is called temperature udu. That udu also can produce new generations in your eye. Because of this temperature, temperature cut your eye not to become spoiled. If the temperature is crispier, you will die. So your eye will be point by different reasons. Hmm? Then there is also when you eat every food, that food as a nutritive as water club spread through your body including your eye. So in your eye there are six types of clubs. Here eye decay club, body decay club, sex decay club, mind bone nutritive as an water club, temperature bone nutritive as an water club, and nutrient bone nutritive as an water club. All together there are 54 types of materiality. Decay club are 10, water club are 8. So all together there are 54. But there is also another type of club, this is called light noni club. Light noni club means in the, that club, if you analyze that club, there are nine types of materiality. Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, water, flavor, nutritive essence, and light faculty. Among these nine types, there is fire element. That fire element, four types, among four types, the most important thing, most important fire element is digestive fire. This is very important. Here also digestive fire. If you put and drop in your eye, then okay, your eye absorb. Why? Because of the assistance of that digestive fire. If you apply any medicine here on your body, your body can absorb this medicine. Why? Everywhere there is digestive fire. When that, that digestive fire supports this nutritive acid of that medicine, medicine is nothing, a group of subatomic particles called clubbers. If you analyze those clubbers, there are eight types. Among eight types, there is nutritive acid. When digestive fire supports this nutritive acid, that nutritive acid produces new clubbers. Because of this reason, this medicine spread throughout your hand or throughout your body, etc. Throughout your hand. Do you want to know? Very good, please practice. Systematically, you can see, oh, by your own direct knowledge, no, he has it. Very good. Hmm? 
If the meditator wants to descend sense beyond materiality, he must descend the mentality of uh, sense beyond mentality. He must descend the mentality of different types of cognitive processes, such as eye do, ear do, nose do, tongue do, body do, and mind do, cognitive processes. If the meditator wants to descend the mentality of the eye do, cognitive process. He first must descend Aido and Maido together. Then he must descend the color of a group of clubbers. When the color impinges on the both doors simultaneously, then the mentalities of the Aido cognitive process and Maido cognitive process will arise successfully, taking color as object. At the end, the Meditator gain data the mentality which is taken the color as object. So this is the system only. So if you want to descend this idol cognitive process, idol cognitive process you should learn by heart. Oh, if you do not learn by heart, you cannot understand. Number one, idol advantage consciousness. Number two, eye consciousness. Number three, receiving consciousness. Number four, investigating consciousness. Number five, decision consciousness. Then seven, impartial journal. After that, two, registering my movement. All together, they are 40. If you see me, this idle cognitive forest system medically, they never change this system. This is theta niyama. The fixed law. After that, that, that there may be many pointers. Then, mind or cognitive process. That mind or cognitive process also takes this color, same color. But same color is similarity only, not really. Same means here, similarity only, because color is also a nature environment, as long as they arrive, they pass away. But their lifespan is 70 mind moment. When 70 mind moment pass away, then this color will disappear. But similar colors successfully will rise. Because there are many clubbers. One, in each mind moment there are three stages. Rising stage, standing stage, and perishing stage. In rising also, rising stage also there are four types of clubbers or four types of materiality. Mind bone, material, karma bone, materiality. Mind bone, materiality. Temperature bone, materiality. Nutrient bone, materiality. So they always rise. But their lifespan is 70 mind moment. In the same way, standing place also there are mind, karma bone, materiality. Temperature bone, materiality. Nutrient bone, materiality. But standing place, no mind bone. Materiality because mind bone materiality rise only rising stage. Rising stage mind is very strong, but standing stage in perishing stage mind is very weak. That mind cannot produce new clapper. So because of this reason, in every mind moment in the same way, perishing stage also come up bone materiality, temperature bone materiality, nutrient bone materiality. Real life spot is. 70 my moment. But this is number one my moment. Number and number two my moment. Say these four types of materiality rise. Then number three my moment also say these four types of materiality rise. In every my moment they rise in this way. So number one my moment materialities which rise together with number one my moment. They will see number 70 my moment together. Then number two my moment they will see number 18. Then number 3, my moment, they will cease together with number 90, my moment. So in this way, if we see from 70, my moment, there are many different types of materialities, they are rising. There are many different types of materialities, they are perishing. There, there are many different types of materialities, they are suddenly. So because of this reason, same color. Although there are many boingas between two cognitive process, 
then same kala, the mind of community will realize that kala. For example, if you want to do this mind of community process, number one, you should try to do this mind translucent element. Then you should try to do this mind of mind. You should be at this a group of small body gas color. Why? One color bus color is not the object of unconsciousness. It is the object of my consciousness only. My consciousness rests together on your heart place. So I consciousness consciousness cannot take this one color bus color. Because of this reason, if you want to understand about I do cognitive process, you should try to take a group of small body gas color. When color impinge both toes, that color impinges both toes simultaneously. And then I do cognitive process according to sequence. Hmm? Then according to sequence. Hmm? They, when they rise, find your advantage consciousness rise to bend on your heart face. I consciousness rise to bend on your eye translucent element here. Then receiving consciousness will rise here. Investigating, decision, serving types of impartial, to register in my mind, and other moments, they will rise here. And in the same way, mind of cognitive process. Mind of advancing consciousness in seven journals, seven impulses, and to register in mind, they also will rise here only. So here, only one mind moment. Here, a lot of mind moment. If you want to understand, I'm consciousness with associated mental formations. There are Consciousness, contact feeling, perception, volition, life faculty, one pointedness, life faculty, and addition all together. There are eight types. If you want to do this, this eight types, you must wait and see here only. If you see here, you cannot see. Because only just one mind moment. So, system is very important. But if you want to do this some mentality, you do not understand what is eye transparency, eye translucency, what is going up my door. Without understanding these two different doors, if you do some mentality, you cannot understand this cognitive process. Is it true? You may have been practiced different types of vipassana. Do you understand this cognitive process with associated mental formations in each mind moment? Do you understand? No. This is because they do the practice systematically, what they do, both as teaching. So if you want to understand this ultimate mentality, you should practice systematically, what they do, both as teaching. Hmm? Okay? It should be similarly understood with the other five doors. Hmm? In each my moment, these mentalities contain only four mental aggregates, healing, perception, formation, and consciousness. Therefore, in each mind moment, there are five aggregates together with materiality of base and object. Base here, base is in this case here, how many? 54 things. Six types of clubs here, six types of clubs, they are materiality. The color also materiality. So together with this materiality, they are all together in each my moment five aggregates. Hmm? Five aggregates means more. for example here I consciousness. This is the aggregate of consciousness. More seven universal mental factors which associate with I consciousness. There is feeling, feeling is feeling aggregate. There is perception, perception is perception, aggregate. The remaining mental formation is five. Volition, one by the night, light frequency, addition, manasikara. 
and then contact. What you can fight? This fight now, the formation is aggregate. Hmm? The aggregate of formation. So all together there are five aggregates in each mind moment, every mind moment. There are five aggregates, five aggregates, five aggregates. If you want to practice vipassana, you must try to understand these five aggregates in every mind moment. Is it okay? <laughs> Please practice, don't worry. You should have enough concentration. Very good. Develop concentration. A Vigo who has concentrated mind understands the Dhammas as they really are. So if you have enough concentration, you can understand these Dhammas as they really are. So don't be worried. Please practice systematically. It is possible. Huh? Okay. Then, therefore, in each mind moment, there are five aggregates together with the materiality of base object. Here, base means the materiality of six doors. For example, in the idol, there are six types of kalapa, which are the, which are made up of 54 types of, as mentioned above, 54 types of materiality. And the object is kala. The mentality in every mind moment arises solely dependent on its own base. Without base, it can never arise in the sense-fear world. While practicing vipassana, the meditator must contemplate the mentality of sense-fear, which takes six types of material objects as impermanence, suffering, or no self. This is the suggestion of commentaries without the mega. Volume 2, page number 300, 301. Adha Salini commentary, page number 271. There are also some meditators who practice other samatha meditation subjects, such as the Dengasinas, eight attainments, four sublime vitals, and so on. They do must contemplate those jhana dhammas in the same way as described in the above second and starter trait. So the meditator must contemplate the different types of fact aggregates, seeing their dissolution as impermanence, suffering, or no self, while breathing in and while breathing out. For that reason, it is said that when practicing samatha or vipassana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in contemplating impermanence. He trains that I shall breathe out contemplating impermanence. And nature and dupasi. Then another is Viraganu Basi, Asa Sisa Midi Sikati, Viraganu Basi, Pasa Sisa Midi Sikati. He trains that I shall breathe in contemplating fading away. He drinks thus and shall breathe out contemplating fading away. There are two kinds of fading away. Number one, fading away as a discussion, Kriya Viraga. Then fading away, absolute fading away. It's Chanda Viraga. Here in fading away as a discussion is the momentary dissolution of formation. That is the five aggregates. Absolute fading away is Nibbana. While practicing vipassana, the meditator must try to see the dissolution of the formations that the five He must contemplate them as impermanence, suffering, or non-self, at the actual moment of insight. The insight knowledge will describe the developments temporarily, moment by moment. When the vipassana insight becomes fully matured, at the end of insight, but knowledge will arise taking Nibbana as the object. In Nibbana, there is no mentality and no materiality, and therefore craving, which is one type of mental pattern, fades away absolutely in the Nibbana. Viraka. For that reason, it is said that one practicing Vipassana or one realizing Nibbana, the meditator trains that I shall breathe in contemplating the fading away of craving, Viraka Nupasi. He trains that I shall breathe of contemplating the fading away of craving, Viraka Nupasi. 
You must go to the then as nature to cut in another only despite the gates or their causes, together with their causes. This is your responsibility. But that contemplation or insight knowledge will eradicate temporarily the craving. Because of this, at that time, you are inclining also towards the partner. Why you practice vipassana? You want to realize vipassana or you want to attain vipassana. This is called your attention, your intention. That intention is called inclination to vipassana. Hmm? Hmm. Number three, Nero Danupasi. He says that I shall breathe in contemplating cessation. He says that I shall breathe of contemplating cessation. The same method of explanation that applies to creating away also applies to the above three sentences. The contemplating cessation. That sentence. Hmm? The momentary dissolution of formations is called, is the moment the cessation cannot be noted. The absolute cessation is nirvana, it's not nirvana. Number four, he trains that I shall breathe in contemplating relinquishment. He trains that I shall breathe of contemplating relinquishment. Kati nisaka nupasi. There are two kinds of relinquishment. Relinquishment as giving up. Pari chaga pari nisaka. Relinquishment as entering into hosaka pari nisaka. If meditators see the dissolution of formations must contemplate them as impermanent suffering or non-self. When contemplating in this way, the inside knowledge temporarily relinquishes the defilements together with their aggregate producing karma formations. And through seeing the suffering of those formations, each vipassana inside knowledge enters into nirvana by inclining towards it. Therefore, we must not answer is called both relinquishment as giving up, parichaka pati nisaka, and relinquishment as entering into mosaka pati nisaka. The meaning is maybe deep, but I want to explain it again. Huh? One contemplating this formation, for me, what are formations? Five aggregates. What are five aggregates? Eleven types of five aggregates, not only present, past, five aggregates, present, five aggregates, future, five aggregates, internal, five aggregates, external, five aggregates, cross, five aggregates, subtle, five aggregates, inferior, five aggregates, superior, five aggregates, power, five aggregates, near, five aggregates, all together, eleven. These eleven types of five aggregates you must contemplate as nature, contemplate them as nature, dukkha, and eh? nata. Systematically, hmm? sometimes nature, sometimes dukkha, sometimes nata. Not three together. Hmm? But for easy understanding, only we must cut in this way. Why contemplating in this way, we must not insight will relinquish the phenomena temporarily. For example, if you contemplate as nature, that nature itself will eradicate, will destroy the development of conceit, mana, conceit, I, I, oh, you have a lot of proud to yourself. When you are contemplating this five triggers, you cannot, you can see only mentality and materiality. As soon as they rest, they pass away very, very quickly. As soon as that day, you cannot see I. At that day, conceit will disappear. Not only conceit, but also the karma. That conceit, mana, can produce karma. When God holds on the mass or unholds on the mass, rest day, Never begun what called 
Union Football. Union Football. Uh, they always can produce their own research. Usually they have the power to produce their own research. But one brand is we button that we button inside. You may see that conceit, but that conceit cannot produce new assistance. No power because of the inside knowledge. Inside knowledge eradicates this conceit. Because of the reason that conceit has no power to produce future assistance. So this is here. Aggregate producing karma formation. This is conceit also. Aggregate producing karma formation. It has the power to produce new existence. But when you contemplate this mana conceit, that's an each other to another. That mana cannot produce new existence. This is the meaning. In the same way, if you can contemplate those five aggregates as suffering to then that contemplation will relinquish the attachment. If you see this five aggregates, they are always oppressed to you by rising in passing way. At that time, if you see this oppressing nature, then you have no much attachment to these five aggregates, temporary, temporary. Hmm? And then that the attachment also has the power to produce new existence. But because of what you was not inside is contemplate, contemplating these formations or these aggregates as, uh, as suffering, because of this insect, that attachment has no power to produce new aggregates, new conditioning. So it also relinquished. In the same way, if you contemplate these five aggregates as not no self, as a day, such type of contemplation also relinquish the perception of other from you. Okay. As a day, you will not see other. Because of this reason, you contemplate these formations as another. Then another inside knowledge can relinquish that wrong view deity. But if you contemplate this deity as nature to another, that deity also can produce new future existence. But because of the power of this insight, that wrong view cannot produce new future existence. Temporarily, while by this we personal, this conceit, this craving, this wrong view may rise occasionally. But you could embrace them as nature to another. Because of this reason, they have no power to produce new future existence. Why you must contemplate this unwholesome mass as nature to another? Many people, they have such a strong attachment there also. This unwholesome mass. For example, I have, I'm very greedy. They Grab this greedy, they have attachment to this greedy. Oh, I love my son so much. I love my daughter so much. Huh? They have attachment against this attachment. First attachment, they have new attachment. <laughs> they have attachment to that attachment again, again. Because of this, they, they cannot go out from their home. Huh? I call to go to six month retreat to power. Not easy, not easy. <laughs> because of this attachment, eh? so but you must contemplate the as nature to another. If you can contemplate this attachment, then that attachment has no power to produce new future existence. Is it good? Very good. Oh. See? Number two, the part knowledge is also called both relinquishment as giving up. Parichaka, Parichaka, and relinquishment as entering into Vosaka, Parichaka, Parichaka. When the bug knowledge realizes Nibbana, it gives up or destroys its finalness with their aggregate producing karma formations. 
When getting them or when it enters into nibbana, when making it, it is okay. What is the meaning? <coughs> At the end of your matured vipassana, you say, but knowledge, inclusion knowledge will arise. But knowledge realize nibbana. Taking nibbana as object, but knowledge arise. Because of this reason, at that time, with the assistance of the power of Nibbana, but knowledge to explain the phenomenon, stage by stage. The but knowledge will eradicate the phenomenon, stage by stage. When you begin Arha, all the phenomenon will disappear. Hmm? All the phenomenon will cease completely without Kamita. They will never arise again. And then day your karma has no power. That karma means before Raha says you had already accumulated many wholesome and unwholesome karma. They have the power to produce new future existence. But when you begin Raha, they have no power to produce new future existence. Because of this reason, ignorance, craving, clinging, and foolish informations and karma cease completely with our mind. When you realize Nibbana with Arhampa, Arhampa, knowledge. Because of the power of Arhampa, all wholesome and wholesome karma have no power to produce new existence. In the same way, when you become Sotapana, Sakhinwana, your birth knowledge also will satisfy Sakaya identity, person identity view or personality view. And which you get skepticism, doubt, completely without Ramayana. Because of this reason, before Sotapana stage, before you are becoming Sotapana, you have accumulated many wholesome and wholesome karma. These Ahosa Kamas have no power to produce new existence in one of four hopeful states. You already escaped from hopeful states. You may reborn in human world or deva world or from world. But I want to encourage you, if you become sort of bana, please maintain your jhana concentration. If you can maintain this jhana concentration up to that moment, it is sure you are, you are definitely a digger. <laughs> <laughs> you can rebuild in Brahma If you rebuild in Brahma world, you will never come back to human world or the world. Within seven lives, you can begin When Within seven lives means in that very life or in next future life, you can begin So, this is very sure. Again, if you begin Skatagami, you can re you can come back to be reborn in this human world once only. But if you begin Nagami, all wholesome kamas and unwholesome kamas which will produce to be reborn in sensual world have no power to produce it is present. Only jhana tamas can produce to be reborn in Brahma world. But if you begin Raha, all Hosna and Ahosna Kamas have no power to produce it as that. Hmm? So because of this reason, if you begin such so, uh, noble ones, hmm? then at that day, you are also still breathing. When you begin such a mana, you are also still breathing. When you begin Sukhanagami, Nagami or Arha, then you are breathing. But that at that day, both insight and part knowledge are called contemplation and upasana. Because the meditator successfully reviews again and again each preceding kind of knowledge. Therefore, if the meditator practices this twofold contemplation, that it can be understood that he is breathing in and breathing of one contemplating relinquishment. For that reason, it is said that one practicing vipassana, one realizing nibbana. The meditator trains that and shall breathe in contemplating relinquishment. He trains that and shall breathe out contemplating relinquishment. But it makes a 
So when branches say also, we personally you are prevented. When realizing the Vana also, you are still prevent. But that prevent is very meaningful prevent. Hmm? So according to Buddha's teaching, if you can breathe, this number degree, you can bingan Sodabana, you can bingan Nagami, you can bingan Nagami, you can bingan Raka. Is it good? And go please practice go to the Buddha's teaching to breathe. Hmm? This is how mindfulness of breathing is developed and cultivated so that it is of great fruit and great benefit. This is Anabana Sati Sota. Sayoda Nigaya, second volume, page number 279. Anabana Sati Sota. Mikima Nigaya, 118. This is Sota number. So we have already explained about 16 types of knowledge and yeah? 3 types of food and understanding. Huh? So today let us stop here. If you have any question, you can ask me. Yes, sir. This is a good person. If you study Kritiniya Sota of Sayota Nikaya, in Kandavaga Sayota, there's one Sota called Kritiniya. In foreign, hmm? they translate in foreign Sota. Hmm? In that Sota, Buddha explains, we person are inside can contemplate past five degrees, present five degrees, future five degrees. Again, okay, if you study Susima Soda, Nidana Waka Sayoda, there is one soda called Susima Soda. In that Susima Soda, Venerable Susima, without practicing Chana, without practicing sex power, Vinyana, he practiced pure Vipassana. When he began, Arahat Buddha asked him, do you understand? Because of the ignorance, formation is right. Yes, but hey, I understand. <laughs> In this way, Buddha asked many questions about the very origination for what order. In the same way, Buddha also asked cessation order or negative order. Because of the complete cessation of ignorance, formation cease completely without matter. Do you see this? Yes, but hey. In this way, Buddha explains. So without jhana, without sex power of jhana, one can see dependent origination, both regular order and cessation order, or negative order. Don't be worried. Oh! <laughs> positive, positive. We must not have power. We must not, in fact, have the power, very strong powerful concentration. That concentration produces strong powerful light. With the assessment of the light of wisdom, if you pay attention focus, that light of wisdom will go up to past light. In the dark, if you use touch, if your battery is very powerful, you can see everything inside the room. Is it true? In the same way, this wisdom personality produces the strong powerful light. But that's a touch light. <laughs> so, at that time, you can see, if you pay attention, then you can see all. Please go to six months retreat, don't worry. I 
including of the people, the anatta, the black and anatta. How come the performance is Maybe if you practice him, if you do not practice with partner, you may have a lot of sick mana. Hmm? But when practice with partner, you see only mediality and mentality. They are not permanent. They are always impermanent. Both eternal and external, past or present or future, eternal or external, all are impermanent. If you see impermanent, other than you will not see I. I, I, in this way, I am, I am, this is mana, this is conceit. That conceit would cannot arise because of this reason. But when it, sometimes you may contemplate this mana also as a chapter of Other than this conceit may arise. But you are contemplating this mana conceit as a chapter of because of the power of that contemplation, that manner, although may rise temporarily, but it has no power to produce a new future existence. In the same way, if you contemplate other, some other mental formations such as mentality and materiality all, in the same way if you practice, if you contemplate them as nature, impermanent, and then, then you see impermanent nature, such type of contemplation also can relinquish the phenomena temporarily. When they relinquish the phenomena, not only the phenomena, but also these phenomena have the power to produce new future existence. That power also can transfer. For example, for uh, Vipassana, uh, meditation, uh, Uh, come to uh, come to uh, come to one wise attention. Uh, as this afternoon, you explained, please to add one more is asoba. So, what's the reason to adding this asoba or wise attention? She is very beautiful. My wife is very beautiful. My husband is very beautiful. <laughs> to remove such type of perception, Buddha also teach. They are not beautiful. Why? When you see this materiality and mentality, that materiality, please pay attention and say, especially. They have very sweet smell or bad smell. <laughs> How do you think? Sweet smell or bad smell? Yes, they are repulsive. Hmm? This repulsible nature is called a super. They are very ugly. This is one. Another is Chara. They have they have the nature of the game. Do you understand? They have the nature of perishing. Is it good or not? They are repulsive. If they are permanent, it is okay, very good. But they are not permanent. They have the nature of path. They have the nature of degree. They have the nature of death. Is it super? This is also a super. So when contemplating these formations as nature, Toka and Naka, Buddha also teach to contemplate them as a super. In the same way, one could have written mentality. Some mentalities, especially unwholesome mentalities, Loba, Tosa, Moha, Kri, Hitra, Konsi, Kilasi, Shimbi, etc., they are reversible. Why? They can produce a happy mind. They can produce to be reborn in hopeful state. They have the power to produce to be able in hopeful state. So they are beautiful or not? They are not beautiful, they are repulsive. So you must contemplate them as nature, dukkha, nada, and asuba. In the same way, some hosts on the mass. Depending on some hosts on the mass, you may have a lot of problems. 
I get over taking it over. <laughs> huh? I get up, my mother, my father. They, they never serve their father and father. They put like jail in the hospital. <laughs> so if you such dependent on your wholesome karma, you have a lot of prop, you have a lot of attachment. Such type of wholesome karma is also reversible because they can produce new existence. The many of wholesome karma, you may wish, maybe you may offer some shivra, some rocks to the bhikkhu. On offering this shivra, you may wish for realization of Nibbana. But before realization of Nibbana, I, I may be a beautiful man or beautiful woman, such as you may wish. Such type of wholesome karma can produce a new future existence. Is it good? No, go, so they are repulsive, asupa, asupa. So I have been told, or no, I may, I may repeat again. Yeah? In the name of Buddha, Pinari Vesari Buddha has one disciple. He is very handsome, young and handsome, very beautiful. Pinari Vesari Buddha think, talk. Hmm? Such type of person may have less full temperament, may have strong powerful attachment to their own body. See, mirror, three goodness. <laughs> make it here, different, different color. <laughs> so, they have strong attachment. This is his thought. Because of that, he gave repulsive meditation, asubha meditation. But the meditator, he don't want to see this repulsive thing. So, within three months, Rain's retreat, he practiced diligently, but he cannot attain any achievement. Then, Benarva Sariboda, carrying this, his disciple, Abdahosa, to the Buddha, to pay respect to the Buddha. And then, Benarva Sariboda informed to the Buddha the situation of the, his disciple. Then, Buddha says, Oh, Sunny Buddha, please leave your disciple here. Then in the evening you will see your disciple become Raha. <laughs> Why? Buddha understands his temperament. Need the characteristic, his characteristic, previous characteristic. Successfully in previous life he became goldsmith. He always see beautiful things on He don't want to see ugly ones. This is his temperament. Buddha understand can read this temperament. Benarima Sari Buddha cannot read this temperament. If Benarima Sari Buddha cannot read, we also? <laughs> you also cannot read. <laughs> so, but Buddha gave Red color, blue lotus flower, very big like uh, Buloka wheel, hmm? cherry of wheel, hmm? very big. Then gave this flower, Buddha create hmm? with his power, and then gave this flower to that Pegu. Please go to the corner of Jetavana Monastery. Please meditate there, red casino. When he saw this very beautiful lotus flower, his mind became very happy. He want to see this one. So, very soon he attained up to Pot Chana, to bring it on this red color, Kasina Sakara. And then the Buddha sent his rays and then tell to go to Vipassana. Then he practiced Vipassana systematically. Oh, he understood 
Binarive Sari Bogdan Tichi, how to practice the Vipassana system medically within three months. So he already understood how to practice. Then he practiced the Vipassana. At the evening, he began her heart. A person he uses his meditative power to prevent certain things from happening, like maybe disaster coming, and he uses his power to prevent the disaster from happening. So may I ask what is going to happen to that person? We fall sick or maybe that disaster didn't happen but something else happens, either to him or to maybe the world. Maybe you should try to understand the workings of karma. For example, when I live Dewa Dada in our Buddha of Kasen, Dewa Dada is the brother of Aya Jasodra. They are sister and brother. So they are related very close to each other. Buddha has a lot of metta to Devakata. But because of the, his unwholesome karma, he was sure to be swallowed by swallowed as a the earth. Buddha can do nothing. When he is sick, blood is coming up from his mouth. Buddha can do nothing. Buddha has the, a lot of metta, a lot of krona, a lot of mudita, a lot of upaka. These four sublime bodies cannot cure his disease. He cannot also sit, not to go down into the hell. So, depending on his karma, he must suffer his own suffering. In the same way, nowadays there are many patients. Hmm? Depending on their karma, this bad feelings he must be. We cannot do, we can do nothing, but we can do, we can help them to, to give suitable medicine, etc. Only. But he may be cured or he may be not cured, it depends on his own karma. Sometimes we can do nothing. Maybe Nibbana is, there are two types. Metaphorically, that cessation state is also called Nibbana. Metaphorically, actually, it's there is Asangata Tadu. This is Supramanda Nibbana. That cessation state, hmm? the complete cessation of five gigas, the complete cessation of karma. The knowledge, grave, clean, polish, and information in karma. Such type of complete cessation with the Ramayana is the object of Vipassana only, especially Uriya Jnana. But Ampong Arime Asangata Tatu, this is Supramande Nibbana. That Supramande Nibbana is the object of Patni Prussian knowledge. That is also Supramande Koshasana. So they are two different things. We both not in fact can see this complete cessation of five aggregates as well as complete cessation of five causes. So this is the other words they are result only. Result means because of the power of Arhampa as well as the power of Nepana. These two types of complete cessation, two types means the complete cessation of ignorance, craving, clinging, origin information in karma. This is one type. Hmm? Then another type is complete cessation of five This is also another type of complete <laughs> cessation. But the complete cessation of the final mass is called Prinibana, Sakubadi Sesa Nibana. In other words, they are also called 
Vilesa Pranipana. This is the object of Vipassana only. Then, complete cessation of aggregates, this is final cessation, Pranipana. This is also called Nubhati Sesa Nibbana. Great translate in different ways. Nubhati Sesa Nibbana means complete cessation of aggregates only. And then, in other words, they are also called Kanda Pranipana. Complete cessation of aggregates only. So this is also the object of Vipassana. But the complete cessation appears when Meditator realized Nibbana by four types of path knowledge and four types of fruition knowledge. So that Nibbana is another one. Hmm? This is Supramandi Nibbana. Metaphorically, they call this is also excess concentration. Metaphorically, only. Metaphorically means when they practice four elements meditation, four element meditation systematically, one day they may see clapper, some element particles. If they can analyze those clappers, they can see four elements in each clapper. Such type of Knowledge is also called excess concentration. This is metaphorically only, not real excess concentration. Why? Four elements meditation cannot produce to attain jhana. So, close the concentration actually close to the jhana. That concentration is excess concentration. But there is no jhana. We cannot say excess concentration. Actually, this is clinical samadhi, momentary concentration only. However, there is real excess concentration close to jhana. That concentration in this four elements meditation, concentration, they are similar to each other. Because of this, that similarity, they are also called excess concentration only. In the same way, while you are Reviewing to disadvantage, not analyzing when practicing samatha. Reviewing to disadvantages as well as one advantage. At that time, such type of knowledge is called, we call picture work. Reviewing knowledge only, no, no excess concentration. But that reviewing knowledge is a little bit similar to Vipassana in this way. Ijame Bunya, Asu Akya, Maha Hodu, Ijame Bunya, Nibana Sa, Pachio, Hodu, Ijame Bunya, Saba Sadana, Pajema. Tisabhi, Tisabhi, Nisama, Nisama, Punya Bhagavan. 